Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can create a calculator field in a pivot table and also use an if statement within there. So I'll give you an example here. I've got some gains and losses on a daily basis here and whether these stock gains, trading, gambling, whatever the, whatever the case may be, just random numbers between minus $1,000 and plus $1,000 and I've got some random categories as well here. And what I'm going to do with this is create a pivot table. and one thing you might be tempted to do in this case is let's say you've got a data set like this but you want your gains in one column your losses in another column you want to be able to separate those out now if you're putting the data in a pivot table the the good thing is you can create calculated fields to do that for you You don't necessarily have to add extra columns in here like you could add a column for gains a column for losses and say okay if this is greater than zero it goes into gains if it's less than zero it goes into losses but you don't have to do that if you're putting it in a pivot table so I'm going to show you how we can do that. So I'm just going to insert a pivot table, launch it in here. So we've got, put in my dates in here, and you know, let's just add raw dates in there. And what I'm going to do now is I can click on fields, items, and sets, and click on calculated field. And what I'm going to do here is call this field profit and just I can use an if statement right within here so I can say okay if in brackets and I'm going to double click this field is greater than zero then I'm going to select that value otherwise leave it at zero hit add and do the same for losses except this time if it's less than zero then it's going to go into the, this field. Hit OK. And now just like that, I've done the exact same thing that I could have by using a separate columns in um, in my data in my data source. So if you if your goal is really just to separate this out for the purpose of tracking gains or losses or sorting out uh, fields using an if statement, you don't necessarily have to do it at the source because this can expand your data set, you can do this right here in the pivot table. And now the next thing you may want to do is, you know, plot these values out. Like let's say you want to have um, a chart showing your gains and losses and doing that. You can do that through here. So just a quick tip on how you can create um, calculator fields in, uh, in your pivot tables and also incorporating if statements within them.